Hello, my name is Annie Rundle and I am going to be baking Italian meatballs with spaghetti. Um, I'm going to start out, I already have all my ingredients here cut up, um, that need to be cut up and measured out and everything. I'm going to start out by taking my fresh bread combs and two ounces of milk. I'm going to pour the milk over the bread crumbs and let that all get absorbed. While I wait for that to get absorbed, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my three eggs that are already beaten, my other two ounces of milk, and my ricotta cheese. Ooh, that was splattered. All right, I am now going to use a whisk and whisk all of this until the cheese is curd. that slightly better. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to take my breadcrumbs. I'm going to take my ground beef. I'm going to take my Italian sausage. Going to take my ground pork and take my prosciutto. I'm going to take my fresh parsley chopped. Take two teaspoons of salt. My oregano. Fennel seeds and chili flakes. I'm now going to lightly mix this by hand. I'm going to put this in the sink since it had ramen on it. Just trying to make sure all the ingredients are mixed well.
I had thought about making a half recipe, but I had bought all the ingredients in the smallest amounts I could, and it was enough for a full recipe, so I didn't want to waste my my ingredients when I already bought them, so I decided to make a full recipe. Great, I'm going to wash my hands now. This still looks good. Now, going to pour the liquid mixture over the meatballs. Now, I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to wash my hands again. Alright, I do not have a number 16 scoop for size, but I do have a scale that I have put some parchment paper on. Make sure it's on the correct units. And I need to make these two ounces. I already have my baking pan oiled. I've already put the oil on it. So I'm going to make, first I'm going to see how close I am to two ounces. Not close enough. Let's see about now. That's right at two ounces, so I'm going to turn it into a round ball and then place it on my oiled sheet. It's a little more than two ounces. Another two ounce ball. That one seemed a little big. It's this 
one is too big. I now appear to have found the right size. The scoop seems just about right, so I'm going to be putting them right on. This one's rather small, so I'm gonna Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'm going to put these in the oven for 10 minutes and then I will turn the pan I forgot uh, after the 10 minutes and cook them for five to 10 more minutes. Um, I'll see you then. All right, my um, timer is going off now. So it is time for me to rotate. I'm gonna 
gonna set a timer for five minutes and then I'm going to check on them. Okay, the meatballs are now lightly brown. So I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to change the oven temperature to 325. I'm now going to transfer the meatballs into this pan. Smell delicious. The recipe says to put them in a shallow six pan of touching, not six pan, a shallow hotel pan. I do not have a smaller one, so they're going to have to go in this. my plum tomato which I've already put through the food processor and a teaspoon of salt that I'm going to add to it. I'm going to mix the salt in real quick. Now I'm going to pour this over the meatballs trying to get the bottom one side of the pan. All right, I'm now going to cover the meatballs tightly. And they're gonna cook for another 40 to 50 minutes. see you then. All right, I'm now going to be cooking my noodles. I already have my boiling water and I have my noodles. All right, I'm going to be putting my noodles in the water. Timer set for 10 minutes. I'm going to stir the noodles. All right, and I will continue stirring these um, for the next 10 minutes occasionally. Um, and I'll be back when they're ready. 
All right, my meatballs are ready to come out. My noodles are still cooking with my sauce behind. I'm going to see if I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to Take the foil off I'm gonna grab one of these I'm gonna cut it open to make sure that it is ready let's see and it looks fully cooked know how well let me see if I can get the camera to show this all right and my timer is just about to go off for my noodles how it's doing before the timer goes off. I'm gonna taste this noodle to see how it... Mm. I think I'm gonna give the noodles just a little bit longer. When the timer goes off, I already have a strainer in the sink and I will strain all the water out. These are done now. I'm going to strain them in the sink. The noodles have been strained, the water's gone. I just put the strainer in the pot so that they're here. I'm now going to plate all the food. Got my tongs here to get some noodles. cheese on top.
And this is my Italian meatballs and spaghetti. Thank you very much.